Hey guys, it's Cece, and today I'm going to be talking about my room, the way it looks, as well as a brand new book release. This video is a paid promotion by Disney Book Group, and I'm going to be showing you around my room, doing a room tour of all of my gadgets and gizmos. But first, I'm going to be talking about a brand new release, and that is Part of Your World by Liz Braswell. So Part of Your World is already out in stores, it's already available where you can go and buy it, but this is part of the A Twisted Tale book series. In this series, classic Disney Disney movies are retold, revamped, and reimagined, and Part of Your World is, of course, about The Little Mermaid. So the inspiration, the what if of this book is printed right on the cover of the book. It is what if Ariel had never defeated Ursula, which is what this book follows. It takes place five years after the events of The Little Mermaid, in which Ursula won and killed King Triton in the process. This has left Ariel a voiceless queen under the sea, while Ursula is left to run Eric's kingdom. But after Ariel discovers that her father might still be alive, she finds herself returning to a place and to people she never thought she would see again. Like I said, Part of Your World is already in stores alongside a bunch of other Twisted Tale selections, so be sure to go check this one out as well as some of the others. Now, since this book is about Ariel, and as you must know if you've seen The Little Mermaid, or even if you haven't, she has a fondness for her gadgets and her gizmos. So today I'm going to show you around my brand new room in my brand new apartment. I hope you are ready to see the room that I'm living in and all of the little gadgets and gizmos I have in here. Let's get started. Okay, so the first and most important feature of any bedroom is obviously that bedroom's cat. <laughs> this cat is named Leia, in case you haven't seen her before, she's my favorite. Leia, say hi! Say hi to the video I'm filming! There she is. Aww. So Leia probably is the best place to start as she's the first thing you see when you walk into the bedroom and right there into my bed. Which, let's talk about the bed first. So I want to talk about this quilt that my grandmother gave me. It is a new favorite item that I own. When it is all unfolded, it looks like one big bookshelf with some of the books stacked up right, some of them stacked to their sides. My grandmother just clearly knows exactly what to get me. On the side table, we have an unfinished project in the lamp. I'm currently working on this. Eventually, I want to fill this all the way up with stars so that it is a rainbow. I think it's going to bring a really nice pop of color to this bedside table. Plus, you know your girl loves a rainbow. So, unfinished for now, but soon. We also have a lot of my notebooks, including my video planning notebook, my bullet journals, the book that I'm currently reading, and of course, you've got to have just a little bit of encouragement. I know that I need some a little bit every morning. <laughs> we also have a newer thing on my bedside table. This dragon is something I recently picked up when I went to Indonesia. I obviously love dragons and have multiple dragons in my room, but this one's the newest and I love him. <laughs> Now let's talk about the tapestry that's hanging up above my bed. This is from Society6. I wanted something that was going to bring a little balance into the room because most of the color is on the opposite wall in the bookshelves. So when tapestries went on sale on Society6, I knew I had to have it. This is really nice also because I live in an apartment where I can't drill holes, so if you just get a command hook and a curtain rod and sling that through the tapestry, it can really make it easy to still hang something up on the wall while not drilling any holes, which makes it perfect for me because now I have a headboard. This little tray is forever one of my favorite items that I own. I just find it so deeply useful. It is a very useful gadget, though not a gizmo, perhaps. I use it for everything. I put my laptop on it, food, drink, I regularly use it for Instagram pictures. Highly recommend getting a tray table. I just think that they're incredibly, incredibly useful in so many ways. Okay, yes, let's talk about the stuffed animals. I still have four. I know I'm an adult with stuffed animals, but I refuse to ever get rid of these stuffed animals. The owl and marlin are both fairly new additions, but my bear and my lammy I have both had for decades. I would absolutely never get rid of them. <laughs> These pillows you've probably seen in other previous room tours, they've been in various places. They were both gifts, but I mean, they're more bookish decor, and that means that it goes along with my book 
quilt, as well as my bookshelves. It's a very book-themed room. Shocking for me, I know. So next up, let's talk about the other bedside table. Oh, hi, Leia. Still very confused as to what's happening. So these side tables were purchased from Walmart. They were on sale, and they were incredibly easy to put together. I know because I am the one who put them together, and that's just ridiculous for me. I can't put together anything. These drawers are also, by the way, from Walmart and fit perfectly. I've been going for kind of a striped theme, plus there is so much storage in both of them. On top of this side table, we have my candle collection. Uh, these are mostly bookish candles, though we have one in the back. It was a gift from a friend who went to Paris. That one is one that I've been burning a lot lately. But most of these are bookish candles that I've gotten from various bookish subscription boxes. I keep them all stocked up over here and my room always smells great because of it. We also have my plant, Adam. Yes, I've kept Adam the succulent alive. He makes Tamaki look adorable, especially next to Haruhi. <laughs> so on the wall behind them, we have my pin board, which I love as well as my Hollyhead Harpies banner, which is hanging up here. I have had this Hollyhead Harpies banner for a few years now. I got it when I went to the studio tour. I think it's great, it's cute, it brings a pop of color, plus I love to support an all-lady Quidditch team. It's perfect decoration in so many ways. Now the pin board. I do collect pins, and someday I should do a full tour of my full pin collection. I have so many on here, as well as on backpacks and drawers, but for now I'm just gonna focus in on a couple of sections of these pins I think you might find interesting. So like down here, we have my full owl crate pin collection. Clearly I have received many, many owl crates as the pin collection is getting a little out of hand. We also have my big Disney pins, which are basically just reasons I visited Disneyland. So we have multiple birthdays, I visited for both of my graduations, and a variety of other things. I have a lot to celebrate at Disney. On this side, we mostly have pins that I've traded for in the park. They are partial collections or full collections. Many of them are also over on my backpack. So this is just some of the pin trading things. And on the other side, we have pins I've purchased myself from parks, pins I've gotten from subscription boxes, as well as badges I've gotten from various events, people, authors, books, so, so many pins. So there is a partial look at my pin board. Maybe someday I'll do a full tour. Leia still seems sort of baffled as to what I'm doing here, so why don't we move over to the bookshelves? I am so excited to talk about my bookshelves, though they are not complete yet. There will be a lot more up there eventually. I'm still working on it, guys, but let's talk about what's here. So I have three bookshelves just like I did in my old house, but this time I have dedicated one full bookshelf to Funko Pops, which has been such a fun and exciting update because I get to display so many. So at the bottom, we have my DVDs. That is the only non-Funko Pop thing. They will move eventually. Then we have some themed shelves, my Doctor Who Pops, my Pirates of the Caribbean Pops. Then up above that, we have everything belonging to Disney, plus a couple of fun mugs I recently got. Above that we have some Harry Potter Funko Pops, though not all of them. Then Lord of the Rings Funko Pops with a dragon they may have to face. And at the top, Scooby-Doo and Supernatural side by side. Oh, and all of these. They will have a home eventually. I'm not sure where just yet. And let's talk about how I've organized my books over here. So starting in the top left, we have Melissa Albert as the author, which means that they go alphabetically by author's last name as usual, which means as we move down eventually in the bottom right, there we go. Mara Wilson is the last author. And my TBR shelf is organized by color, which is the standard way that I organize my bookshelves. So you can kind of see that. The bottom shelves are things that might change. We have notebooks, oversized books, yearbooks, and on the other side, mostly storage. There, I have no idea what's going on with this. Right now I have a graduation cap on top of a cat toy. Clearly things are up in the air as far as this shelf goes. One of my absolute favorite things in my room, my favorite gadget or gizmo I guess, is this sculpture of the Hogwarts castle made out of a copy of the first Harry Potter book. The castle is in there, Hagrid's hut is in there, and it lights up. This was a graduation gift that I absolutely adore and that I absolutely love displaying on top of my shelves. Now what other gadgets and gizmos haven't I shown you that I need to. I mean, I guess, is, is Crow? Is Crow a gadget? I mean, he's a robot. That's kind of gadget-esque, but that's probably not what I'm looking for. Um, let's talk about my tripod. My tripod lives over here unless I am currently filming with it. I'm definitely not going to put it away at the end of every time I film, guys. In the other corner, we have my guitar. Didn't mention that earlier. Uh, sometimes I play it, sometimes I don't. 
On my closet door, we have my purse as well as a lei that I got at Pride. And actually, why don't I give you a quick look at my closet? So at the top, we have all of my coats, cosplay, a cat box, and Christmas decorations. Then we move down into my clothing, which I assure you is very organized and will remain so for at least a couple of weeks before it's a disaster. Below that, we have shoes, a hamper storage, and shockingly, cat food. What would I be if not a person who just stores my cat's stuff everywhere? This closet also has a full-length mirror on one door that I installed, as well as, well, not all my jewelry, but all of my necklaces, certainly, and all of my tote bags and drawstring bags. When you get involved in publishing, it's like impossible not to collect these. If you need any kind of tote bag, you're set with me. And that is it. That is the room, the place that I am currently living, the apartment I'm living in. Things are going to change, of course, like I've said, things are going to get moved around. I still have some boxes to unpack. In particular, these shelves are probably going to change. I have Funko Pops coming and books coming in the mail that are really going to shift how I organize this. And like I said, the top is not remotely finished, but it will be. But this is my room, this is my space, and I've liked being able to create a space just for myself the way I want it to look. And Leia's pretty happy here too. She has a friend in another cat who lives here. You can usually hear her pawing at the door wanting to come in and play with Leia, which is adorable. But we've really both love having this space, and I think we'll wrap it up with Leia. Leia, we love living here, don't we? Yeah. All right. Why don't you thank them for checking out our room? Thanks. <laughs> And that concludes the tour of this room and all of the little things that are inside of it. I hope that you enjoyed seeing where I'm living. I also hope you enjoyed hearing more about Part of Your World, this brand new release from Disney Book Group. I love retellings, I love Disney, and I loved being able to talk about this new release as well as showing you a bit more of where I live. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!